Toby's History Lesson. This is going to be a series of programmes dedicated to history and about our great British history and our past. In today's episode we'll be looking at the horror of the 1940s, which was the Blitz. <laughs> So we're going to be looking at several things. First we're going to look at how the Blitz started, how it began. And also then we're going to look at the major bombings within the Blitz such as Coventry and the area around St Paul's Cathedral. And then we'll be looking at the different, the different arsenary, the different bombs used to destroy London. First off, we need to know exactly who we're talking about. During the World War II, there was a lot of important characters. Stalin, Winston Churchill, uh, Hitler, Goring, um, Roosevelt. All these kind of people who are really important. But the two we're talking about today are Winston Churchill and Adolf Hitler. Name. Sir Winston Leonard Spencer Churchill. Born 1874. Died in 1965. Role: Prime Minister of Great Britain, 1940 to 1955. Party: Conservative. Famous for leading the British people through the Second World War and the Blitz. Name: Adolf Hitler. Other names: Führer, which means leader. Born 1889. Died 1945. Role, leader of the Third Reich and Germany. Party, Nazi, National Socialist German Workers' Party, the NSDAP. Famous for killing millions of Jews, invading Poland, bombing, the Br bombing Britain, invading France, trying to invade the Soviet Union, for being an evil tyrant. Started their bombing campaign by bombing uh, airfields and supply depots to gain air superiority in their invasion of Britain. But on the 24th of August 1940, as the German bombers were continuing their campaign to destroy airfields, they accidentally hit a council estate in the East End, killing many civilians. It was the first time that a bomb, instead of dropping on the airfields, was dropped on the people of Britain. Hitler was outraged that London had been bombed without his, without his orders. But Winston Churchill took this opportunity and he sent 80 British bombers to bomb Berlin on the 25th of August 1940. Hitler, being Hitler, was completely outraged by this. He said, he said, if Britain is going to bomb our cities, I will annihilate theirs. And so, on the 7th of September, 1940, which is now known as Black Saturday, the, the German bombers turned on the people of Britain. It was a nice warm summer's day in the afternoon of the 7th of September 1940 where people were out and about enjoying their ordinary lives unaware unaware that about that hundreds and hundreds of bombers were heading their way all of a sudden there was a drone in the late afternoon a drone of planes and the sky was literally filled. They thought the planes would come over the channel, then they'd start to separate and make for separate airfields. They didn't. That slow column droned towards London, and it was obvious it was just like an arrow making for the heart of the capital. It came as a complete surprise. No one even knew that these bombers were coming. But 
they came over and people just saw this black this blackness coming across and in the middle of all of this I suddenly saw all these black specks beginning to appear literally hundreds of German bombers they thought they're not going to bomb us but they did they dropped bombs and bombs and they blew up huge amounts of the city on that black Saturday thousands of bombs were dropped thousands thousands and if the bombers ran out they went back to Berlin and collected more and came back and forth and bombed and bombed and bombed the bombs did not stop that night we saw the anti-aircraft shells exploding all these black puffs in the sky then the next thing we heard was the whistle and the bombs started coming down And for 76 consecutive nights, the Germans bombed the hell out of London and Britain. 76 consecutive nights. God awful bang. And then things went literally black for a bit. I was hit on the head by a large piece of the ceiling coming down and then just thick dust, you know, you're spitting dust, you can hardly breathe. Debris from the ceiling and so on. During the war, uh, during the Blitz, the bombs, um, the bombs yeah, were very powerful and they destroyed most of Britain, but a lot of people died from something, well, died from the blast rather than the, rather than the fire. You would think that in an explosion you would die from fire by being you were blown to bits or to burn in fire. But no, most people in the Blitz died from a thing called blast. When a bomb explodes, it explodes with a huge amount of energy and a blast wave blasts outwards. As it blasts outwards, that wave of power is what kills you. A lot of people in the Blitz died from blast. That's where the blast has hit them. The oxygen's been sucked out of their body, their lungs have closed up and gone up into up here and basically suffocated themselves. And then and they look perfectly normal from the outside. But in fact, they are dead. You just had to ignore what you saw. If if they weren't alive, you just left them. If they were alive, you got them out and you took them and you laid them on the pavement so that the, the ambulances could take them away to hospital. My mother came to collect me from where I was staying down in East London and we're walking through the streets and hoses everywhere and the smell of burning and down one side where there were lines of black bundles which I then realised lines were bodies. I'm walking along with um, my mother holding my hand and she suddenly started to cry. And I was relieved at half past nine and I sat down and my apron was smothered in blood and I just sat and laughed. Well, my dear friend came in at the time and she gave me a great big slap across the face and that brought me into my senses.